Diane. I'm next to Apparition Hill and I'm Bisp. What's your name? Diane. Where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Far away from here. Yes. It was a long flight. First time for you here? Yes. Yes. And how is the experience to be here? Wonderful. What happened? Lots of things. I um, was blessed to be here. My first miracle of the trip mm -hmm. was I'm here with my 22-year-old daughter, 23 she now. Looks beautiful. Yes, yeah. she just graduated from Clemson University. Yeah. Wow, and so we are here by the grace of our loving mother mm -hmm. and Jesus that we're together. And the second miracle mm -hmm. is I'm here with my dearest friends yeah. and Hello. hers is a story yeah. that I will save for you okay. to ask okay. her because yeah. it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But what is your story? Well, my story is um, I've always loved our Mama Mary. Mm -hmm. She's always been a heavenly mother to me. Mm -hmm. And um, I just feel like I've come home. Wow. Just, yeah. just so much peace and joy and love here. Mm -hmm. And um, we're here because this, this is our second trip to Apparition Hill. Mm -hmm. The first one, our joy was robbed, not really robbed, but we saw some demonic manifestations mm -hmm. up on the hill and it was very upsetting because that was the first time that you saw, you saw pure evil mm -hmm. but you know what the craziest thing is our blessed mother protected us mm -hmm. and the holy spirit protected us and we didn't feel fear we felt like we're gonna fight this and um and we were okay so now we are here um, a second time mm -hmm. And we are going to make it up the hill and have a joyful, peaceful time. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, yesterday I met my St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. um, we were walking along and a true shepherd, mm -hmm. sh he was herding sheep, goat, mm -hmm. and he had a little black dog. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, you know, felt called just to give him a little something. And then he, we were walking away and he called me back mm -hmm. and said, um, you, or no, he actually, he was just pointing because he didn't speak any English. Mm -hmm. And um, what did he say? He uh, got his friend who's interp who interpreted and said, he wants you to come back at two or what time can you come back tomorrow? And I said, two o'clock. Mm -hmm. And so we are coming back and he, uh, we were a little few minutes late and he was driving past us today he said come back today at two o'clock and um, he gave he had a gift for me and so i have to share this crazy gift because it is a rosary with all my favorite saints it has the miraculous medal and then um saint michael um the holy family um, I can't. St. Anthony, yeah. which he's been popping up. Mm -hmm. And then I had, this is the infant of Prague. Mm -hmm. I had a little oh, Romanian beautiful. woman come up to me and said, do you know the, the devotion to infant? And I was really kind of freaked out because she wanted me to follow her. Mm -hmm. But, and I had to go to adoration. So I'm like, oh, I'll just see you later. But this is who she was talking about. Yeah. And then St. Christopher. Mm -hmm. Padre Pio, Papa Pio, yeah. and then St. Charbel, which my friend will tell you about wow. because he has been telling, he has been calling all of us mm -hmm. here. For, I, mean, I mean, maybe not here, but he's been appearing everywhere to us. So, and then the last, um, oh, and St. Bernadette. Okay. St. Bernadette. I feel like that was my own St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. And today the Mass was... Um, a vote of mass for Saint jo in honor of Saint Joseph. So thank you, Mama Mary. And uh -huh. and uh, what is your favorite place here, Madam? What do you like best? Oh my goodness! I think one of my favorite. Um, we went at night to apparition. The actually not here, but the Blue Crosses, the Blue Cross. and it was just beautiful. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, you went to confession? Yes. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going back today. So we're leaving tomorrow. Uh -huh. I, you know, there's things that I think our Blessed Mother helps us uncover mm -hmm. and helps us heal. And um, she just wants us to go back home and be whole and spread our joy. Yes. And what would you tell people you, you go 
back happily to confession. There are people out there who are a bit fearful about confession. What would you tell them? I think that maybe you should remember that it's not the priest in there, it's Jesus who just wants to give you a hug and just give you his love and just say, you know what, he's our papa and he's going to say, I love you, honey, it's okay. And then there are people out there, you know, a lot of them, they don't believe in, in God. What would you tell them? You are so happy with your faith. Who is God the Father? For you? He is love. <laughs> just that? Love. He's love. I think we're just called to just, just love mm -hmm. and just smile. And you pray the rosary? Yes. Why? Because our mama asks us to. Mm -hmm. And it... Um, I don't know. That's what she's calling us to do. She's calling us to pray and through the rosary you'll find her son and you'll find love. Well, and in, in one sentence, why should people come to Medjugorje? What is so special? Um, if you love, if you, if you have been given the gift of love through the rosary and our Blessed Mother, you will feel at home. Thank you for this beautiful interview. You're welcome.